сите интервју со евроамбасадорот во земјата Самуел Жбогар. Амбасадоре, оваа есен за Македонија ќе биде прилично динамична. Наскоро започнува скрининг процесот од Европската унија, а пред нас е и референдумот за договорот со Грција. Најпрво, колку е важно за Македонија овој референдум да успее? I think that next uh, weeks and months will be quite crucial for the future of the country. Um, I see, I see myself, I see a referendum um, as a coin with, with two sides, uh, but one coin. Um, on one side, you have the future in your Atlantic uh, family. Uh, you have two invitations that you received, an invitation for NATO, invitation to open negotiations with European Union next June. Um, on the other side of the coin, you have agreement with Greece, an agreement that uh, ended a decades-long conflict or dispute, let's say, um, of the past and which somehow uh, puts the foundations for the, for the future relations. So you have these two, two sides of the coin, you have these two issues which are intertwined uh, which have been intertwined for probably more than 10 years and will remain intertwined. Um, so personally, I want to see the country moving forward and open negotiations with the European Union and that's why I would like to see the success of the referendum. And I have to say I'm not alone in that. Probably you noticed that in the past months, um, probably like never before, you are receiving positive messages and, and visits from leaders, um, from leaders of Europe. Um, they are following the situation really very closely, um, which demonstrates the desire of leaders of Europe, of Europe, to, to see the country moving forward, to see situation for citizens improving, um, to see the opening of accession talks next year. So I think that we all feel very strongly that the time is now and we also feel that there is no good or better alternative to what we have now. Што во случај на неуспех на референдумот, дали тоа може да ги забави евроинтеграциите на Македонија? The future is in your hands, the future is in the hands, hands of the citizens. Uh, they are the masters of 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 their future. Um I, I mentioned that uh, you have two invitations in your hands, including invitation from the EU to open negotiations next June. But of course it's up to people to decide and they will decide uh, at a referendum what to do with these invitations. Uh, we will respect the decision that will be done by people. Um, but this also reminds me of, of one uh, interesting saying uh, about the electoral process in general which is that people are always right because they are the one who will have to live with the consequences of their decision, whichever it will be. Uh, but just to repeat, we will respect the decision because the decision has to be made by people and people alone. Ambassador Žbogar, koja nadvorešna sila bi možela da go iskoristi vakuumot dokolko referendumot ne uspe? Da li može bi toa bi go zgolemilo rusko to vlijanje vo Makedonija? I don't want to speculate about foreign powers. Um, I trust in the power of people and I know that the great majority of your people see the future in the EU. They want to have a rule of law based democracy, they want to see prosperity, they want to see the future for their children here uh, in the country. Um, I know that you are inseparably linked to, uh, to Europe culturally, economically, politically, you're, you're part of Europe. Um, just to mention economically, 80% of trade, of, of uh, export, of, of foreign investors, of foreign assistance is related to EU, EU member states. So there is a strong link and, the link and there is no alternative to it. If you just look where the young people want to study, those who want to study abroad, they want to study mostly in the European universities. So that's where the future, where people see future um, uh, of the country and where we see the future uh, as well. You know, we live in, 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 in dangerous times, let's say, or in challenging times. The world is becoming a challenging place. And, and in such situations, 
for especially for small nations, is always more reassuring, more comfortable, safer to be part of a bigger family. Um, and I'm sure that um, all of that will be taken on board, will be considered by people uh, before they will cast vote. Владата веќе ја формираше преговарачката структура за скрининг процесот, но се уште не е јасно дали опозицијата ќе биде дел од таа преговарачка структура. Колку е важно за опозицијата да соработува и да биде дел од скрининг процесот? I think it's crucial for the opposition to be part of the, the process. Um, I remember from the times uh, when I was in Slovenia, part of those uh, uh, talks, um, that was the key ingredient, the cooperation between the government and the opposition. Together you are stronger. Negotiations are not an easy process, but if you, if you are united, you are stronger in negotiations, you have more talents on board to negotiate. The process is smoother, it goes faster, I think benefits the country, benefits the citizens. I see that all parties in the parliament are supporting Euro-Atlantic integration without a doubt. And uh, I'm convinced that that opposition will be on board in this negotiation process. Um, it's up for the government and opposition to find a way how this, how this will be done. But for instance, we already have, or you already have a, an, an institution uh, National Council for European Integration in Sobranje, uh, which is a body run by opposition, um, position not being present, only position being present, but you have all other structures as well from civil society, media and so on. And uh, that that's was um, also the reason why Commissioner Hahn, when he was here the last time, he addressed that body and that's where he announced um, the start of the screening process. Um, so that, that can be the start, but I'm, I'm, I'm convinced that um, probably after the referendum, um, when maybe the atmosphere calms down a bit, the opposition and the government will find a way how to cooperate for for the future of the country, for uh, the future of the citizens of the country. Во септември ќе се отвори поглавјето 23 за правосудството и фундаменталните права. Кои други области ќе бидат во фокус на скринингот на Европската унија? Uh, yes, you're right. Uh, the, the focus will be, the priority will be the rule of law, democracy, um, fundamental rights. Uh, but not only that, the screening will touch every area. Um, we will do screening of all chapters, meaning we will do the screening on agriculture, on environment, on health, on transport. Um, so all areas that really touch people's life um, will be screened. Um, you know, the, the whole screening process, um, you should look at negotiations not only at the end, as the end goal. End goal, of course, is important. Joining you is important. But the process is as important because it's through this process that the country will change the way people want it to change. And screening process is the first step in this changing. And I'm hoping and I think we believe that with the screening, we will help fast forward the reforms and changes that people are very eager to see here. Амбасадоре што ќе значат позитивните резултати од скринингот за Советот на министри во јуни а, наредната година и што доколку резултатите не се онакви какви што од нас очекува Европската унија. I think the council or the member states were very clear that they expect continuation of reform, reforms and deepening of reforms. And this is what they will be judging. Uh, next year, Commission will report and Member States will judge whether reforms indeed um, continued and deepened. But th this whole process, we shouldn't forget, it's, it's not because of Brussels. I think the whole enlargement process is, ju is just help, it's just an engine that helps doing the transition. All we are doing, all the government is doing and we help government to do is, is um, to make the change for citizens. And so it's important for citizens to see the change, to see the reforms, to recognize that things are changing to better. And if citizens in the country will, will see and recognize that things are improving, that their lives are improving, uh, that the behavior, political behavior is, is changing, that judiciary is becoming more equal for everybody, 
then I believe ministers will also recognize the change and act accordingly next June. Дали доколку Македонија добие преодна оценка на овој процес, тоа би значало сигурен датум за отпочнување преговори со Унијата. I believe you already have a date. I think the 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 member states, the council decided clearly um, about uh, or set clearly the path leading toward opening negotiations next June. So I think that's um, that's how I see the the conclusions that we have a date uh, when the negotiation should start, provided under condition that the institutions here do the reforms that are expected uh, to be done. So I think we should all focus on, on really getting these reforms uh, through. I, I'm afraid uh, the whole year is going to be very important and we'll have several steps uh, uh, on the way. Of course, we have a referendum coming up, then we have the other phases of implementation of the agreement. Um, then will be, of course, in parallel the reforms. I should really keep repeating the, the importance of, of doing the reforms, of deepening the reforms. Um, so in parallel the reforms should be going on and we will be reporting about these reforms or the results next spring so that in June the member states will, uh, will then decide. Ambasadore, očekuvate li zgolemuvanje na stranskite investiciji vo periodot na približuvanje kon Evropskate unije i NATO? Definitely. Definitely yes. Um, because um, joining European Union, uh, entering these processes, NATO and uh, EU in NATO, um, gives additional assurance to foreign investors um, about stability, um, about safety of the environment. Um, it, it, it gives guarantees that there will be less, fewer chances for irregularities or fewer chances for things to go wrong. And, and so that increases the, the interest of investors. On top of it, um, being the future member state is an additional uh, incentive for foreign investors to get interested uh, for the country. Because they know this country is entering the European Union, so now it's time to get into the country. Um, and um, I, 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 uh, I remember that once uh, Finance Minister Tevdovsky told me that when he goes around talking to international financial institutions, one of the first questions he gets is, um, how is your accession to the EU going? You know, so that, that demonstrates that for international financial institutions, which means also foreign investors, uh, this is a very important, uh, very important uh, issue. And, and, and definitely we will see increased investments once you, once you start formally uh, negotiations. Ambassador Bulgar, vi blagodaram za razgovorat. No, thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me. Го гледавте интервјуто во кое што гостин беше евроамбасадорот во земјава Самуел Жбогар. До видување.